Hi everyone, so today in this video I'm going to make a scope shader in a shader graph. So I've already prepared a simple scene. So there I have an empty game object with a scope mesh and uh, it uh, have uh, two materials, one for the body and one for the lens. I've also created the quad and I will use it to test the shader. Now I create a camera and I will lower the field of view value to around 7. We also need to create render texture and I set the size to 512. And we need to set the color format to 16-bit float. Now I create lead shader and the material which will use this shader. Drag the material to the quad and the lens. Open the shader graph. Create rectangle node. Create thickness uh, property and divide it by 100. And also change the default value to 1. Connect to height, set the width value to 100, duplicate this node. Reconnect from height to width. Set the height value to 100 and add these nodes together. We also need to saturate the result and we can attach it to a mission to debug our result. I also lower the brightness and this is our result. Create the group selection. Now we need to create a view direction node. Then we need to normalize it. Change the space to tangent and negate. Create tiling and offset nodes. Connect them like that. And this is how it look like. We need to make two properties, uh, texture 2D, like camera and uh, float, camera size. Create sample texture 2D, connect the camera property, create uh, tiling and offset nodes. Connect our result to emission and connect from negate to offset. And now if we attach from the texture to camera property we can see that result. Create a UV node, then create a remap node and connect UV to remap. Connect remap to UV from tiling and offset. Create second remap node. Connect from tiling node to remap and remap to UV. In the first remap node, change the values from minus 1 to 1 to 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 to minus 1 to 1. And now by adjusting the camera size, we can set the size of our image. Create LARP node. Connect the sample texture to A input. Create color property and name it crosshair color. Change the mode to HDR. Connect the saturation to time and LARP to emission. And connect crosshair color to B input. 
Now we can adjust uh, our crosshair color and with enabled bloom we can make it even glow. Unfortunately we have uh, little issues so we need to reconnect some nodes. You need to connect second remap node to crosshair UV input. And now everything is working fine. Now I will create a depth property and I multiply it with the output of negate node and connect the result to the offset of tiling and offset. Okay, so our scope shader needs a vignette effect, so I create a length node and then we need a smooth step node and we need to connect from remap to length and from length to input of smooth step. We need to also to adjust the values in that way that the the white will be inside and the black will be outside to have a, a ability to adjust these uh, properties in inspector i create a vector 2 and i name it um, camera vignette size edge i will drag to the canvas split this Connect red to edge, add subtract node, connect red to A and green to B, and from out to edge 2 from smooth step. Connect the smooth step result to emission, and we can adjust the values to have a better result. Okay, it's so for only debug purpose. Uh, now we need to connect uh, this like that. Now I create a LARP node. Connect the result from smooth step to time. Create float with zero value uh, to A. In many cases that uh, could be the end of this shader, but uh, we're going to make it even better. We need to duplicate those nodes. And that's because we need a second vignette with different offset. I create a second vector too, which I name lens vignette size edge. Drag it to canvas and uh, replace with the camera. Create lens shadow depth float property. Connect negate uh, node to multiply node. And multiply lens shadow depth Connect the result to the offset. Create lab node and uh, result from lab to B. Connect the result to the time and from zero from the float to A. And connect the result uh, from lab to emission. And these are results with uh, plane and scope with properly adjusted values. And this is a showcase how this shader works in VR. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please 
subscribe, like, comment and see you later.